Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to Phobos Prologue. So, this is some sort of a demo for a game that has been winking at me for a long time. Every time that I went to HEO, it was always there winking at me, begging me to play it. And all of you over there are always like, I want an RPG game that doesn't look like a cartoon. So here you go, a game, an RPG horror game that looks kind of realistic and by that I mean just more humanoid figurines rather than anime. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Thanks, my top Patreon supporters are awesome in case you didn't know that so uh, thank you for supporting me. Um, if you guys would like to <laughs> support my videos as well on Patreon uh, you can check it out, card info in the top right corner of the screen and a link in the description if you're interested. And thank you for checking it out. Let's go and uh, play this game. Choose character. I'm gonna go towards the guy with a gun. A famed detective called in to investigate the strange disappearance of Phobos town folk. Is this your character choice? Yeah, sure. I'm gonna play as Oscar. So I'm kind of interested to see how this pans out cuz uh I don't recall actually playing a kind of a humanoid RPG October 12 12 I got a call recently There has been a string of human disappearances Kidnappings, perhaps, in the town of Phobos. We like to call them drive-bys. Drive-throughs. I've never been to Phobos, but I've heard the stories. Sounds like a city with... <laughs> Sounds like a city with people with a lot of phobias. I'm not a type to give credence to superstition, but honestly... I haven't been this curious about an investigation in a long time. He's probably gonna develop investiphobia, which is a phobia of an investigation. Move arrows keys or use the keypad if you have or whatever. Use the Z key to interact with people. Thank you. This is not my first rodeo. Uh, as I said, it's not my first rodeo. I would appreciate it if you give control right now. Any day now. Good. Are you okay, lady? What was that sound? She sounded like she was choking on something. Perhaps she's trying to hide weed in her throat. Perhaps. Why, hello there, officer. I take it that you're the detective who was called into the town recently? How would you know that? That's a little suspicious. I'm suspecting you, lady. Evening. Yes, I'm Detective Oscar Wanson. Pleased to meet you, Swanson. The pleasure is mine, detective. I'm Meralda, merely a humble fortune teller. Am I gonna solve this case? You gonna tell me that? A fortune teller, eh? <laughs> what is this? Arr! Fortune tellers, I tell ya. Nothing but a trick. They just say things until, until, until they see a reaction and then they push in that reaction. Let's not be a negative Nancy here. I'm very happy with that. I've never been a super superstitious person, but I like to keep an open mind. Your work sounds interesting. Now that sounds like a detective. An open mind is a good thing to have. Fortune telling is nothing more than a form of assessing uh, provo outcomes. Well, I guess I was tipped off about screams. Uh, heard coming from this library earlier today. The screams were reported to local authorities about two hours ago. Were you here during that time? 
I arrived here about 30 minutes ago to check out a few books, only to find that the owner has closed down the library early. I say because I knew you'd arrive, detective. Suspicious as fuck. Hmm. Oh. I thought you might appreciate some of the information I have on hand. Is that so? Then what information can you give me, fortune teller? I'm never one to turn down a free lead. I'll be grateful if you're able to make my job easier. The owner of the library is a man named Arthur Birkin. The visions I've seen involve in him. He's involved himself with the occult. He conducts ritual in the cellar below the library. Rituals? The occult? Just what am I getting myself into? You do well to search in the area yourself if you have a warrant. Of course the front door is locked, but I've already seen that you'll find a way. <laughs> How about I give you the middle finger and say... Didn't see that one coming. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you. Interesting. Unlikely. But interesting. Thank you for your time and have a good evening. It was a pleasure, detective, and do be careful. This town can be a dangerous place. I'll be taking my leave soon. Sticking around any longer wasn't in the cards for me. Thanks again for pointing me in the right direction. Gonna arrest her and say, didn't see that one coming, huh? She's probably gonna act all smug and be like, oh, I know you're gonna arrest me. It's locked, just like my cold heart. Um, yeah, I guess we're gonna check around. Do I really have to go find a warrant or search the town? I'm not really about that life. I'm not gonna drive back where I came from only for a shitty warrant. And besides, it doesn't seem like anybody gives a crap. If they already know I'm a detective, just ask him. See the reaction. Investigate, detective. That's what you're being paid for. What does it say on the wall? It's... I don't want to say what I think it says, because I want to keep the video monetized. Oh, look at that. A basement. This is the basement of the Earth, because it's disconnected from the library. This is where we store all the potatoes. There is a lot of shining he things here. Countless books, mostly encyclopedias and dictionaries. There is something underneath the rug. I acquired five gold. I'm a fucking rich man. I can quit being a detective. What the fuck is that music, dude? Sounds like I'm about to get attacked in my real life. Is this some sort of a torture table? What does that do next to a library? Also, good job on getting a warrant, detective. Definitely have a, a warrant to search this place. There's a key here. I might be able to get into the library with it. Alright, cool. Actually, isn't there something about officers allowed to check a place out if it's open? I'm pretty sure there is something like that. You know, if something is open... Hello? Is anyone there? I know I heard somebody choking, but I'm gonna ask again. What was that? I should probably check it out. Uh, can I... Wait. Oh, I can use a save scroll. Yeah, detective. She didn't see that one coming. Alright. It's locked. Okay. Somebody's locked down in there. Surprise, surprise, the fortune teller is gone. I didn't foresee that one coming. Alright. Uh, hmm, there is a book here with only one page of writing. It seems to be a poem. Seven birds sat atop a well wilted tree in the night. <laughs> This is a cute puzzle. This is so cute. I, I like this developer so much. I like how all the numbers 
or capital letters to make sure that you figure out that it's a code. Seven birds took a shit on four cars. Two of the drivers had an accident, but only one of them survived. Wait. What was that sound? Was my story bad? Why did it say... It was just like... Argh. So I assume my story was bad. How many birds... Took a shit. Wait a second, before we continue with that question, non-fiction, mostly history books and autobiographies. The shelf is full of books on the supernatural, ghosts, demons, hauntings, and more. Hmm. Oh, look at that, there is a keypad in the fireplace. Hmm, there is something in the fireplace. Oh, it's just 10 gold. Damn it, I thought it's a keypad. Hmm, one of those books is made out of metal. It's built into the shelf and there are number keys. Okay. Pop quiz. How many birds took shit? That's right, seven birds took four shits. They hit two cars and only one of them survived in the car crash. The book is concealed a secret passage. What could be in that room? I don't know. I can't foresee the future, detective. There's something glinting on the floor. Acquired painkillers. In case this game... In, in case you're thinking too hard from all these puzzles, you got painkillers to help you out. I'm gonna restore some health. I'm gonna use a save scroll real quick in case I messed up. So I can teleport back to the past. Hmm, there is a book with only one page of writing. It seems to be a poem again. Okay, I'm just checking for any high, like capital letter numbers, okay? The experiments have finally bore results. I'm going to travel to Zenbar Island and deliver the results to Zed myself. All those people that we had to kidnap, I can now rest easy knowing that their sacrifices will not have to be in vain. The doors beyond the cellar has been sealed. Finally, I'm at peace. When you say the cellar, do you mean the, the first place that was open that I arrived to the town? Yeah, that's no secret. The entire town knows that you're kidnapping people. No wonder it's a ghost town. What on earth is... Th experiments? Huh? The missing people are referenced here. I guess that fortune teller really was legitimate. Hmm, perhaps I can use her for a future case. Perhaps, but then I'm gonna probably be sued by Ace Attorney. Is that a key? I got a key. It's a laboratory key. You know. Every occult has one. Key to Arthur Birkin's cellar laboratory. Cool, let's go check it out. Let's see what Arthur has been cooking in that cellar of his. Something tells me we're... Something tells me we're not gonna find some good old aged wine in the cellar. But that's just my hunch. That's... My... Prediction. I foresee that. I'm sorry guys, but because of that fortune teller at the beginning, you're gonna stuck with these foresee jokes the entire video, so get used to it. I'm not changing. Oh good, a puzzle in the laboratory. Sure, let me check it out. There's something glinting on the floor. Man. Why do we get so much gold? What am I gonna do with all that? Retire perhaps? Because this job is too hard already. Let's not mess around with the switches before I actually know what to do. I almost... I almost burped. Let me use a safe scroll. Just in case I screw this one up. Hmm, what's this? Only two may face downward. Which... That which burns and that which doses. Doses? How do I know which one doses? The one which burns obviously means red. 
But then the one which doses, do you mean bl blue as in like dosed in water? Or do you mean yellow as in dosed in gasoline? Let's just try it. That's not blue. Not yellow. Not green. Okay. Finally, a puzzle that I didn't solve on the first two seconds. Oh, it's locked, but there is no keyhole. Oh, the one which burns, that's not fire. Fire doesn't burn. I mean, it does, but... Wood burns. So, green. I'm so smart. There you go, we solved it. I didn't solve it. Technical difficulties. Oh, I got it. I did get it right. It's just that it, there was no indication that the door opened. My bad. All right. There's something glittering on the floor. Man, all this shiny stuff blind me. I could run into a wall. More gold? How rich are these people that they have gold lying around in the fucking pots? Damn it, man. I'm only going through this case to get all this gold. I don't actually care about solving it. I can retire right after. Alright. Oh, yeah, we're... This is not a laboratory. This is definitely an occult place. I mean, occult have science involved into it, doesn't it? There is something glittering on the floor. More gold?! You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> they have so much gold lying around. I gotta use my save portal for this. Alrighty then. There is a bunch of gl glowing stuff. So first of all, let's pick up more... Oh, it's Mystic Marble. Of course. Something tells me we'll have to collect all the marbles now. I think we'll have to go somewhere else and look for them. Another journal. The experiments have not been going as planned. I don't know how much more of this I can stomach. The screams, the terror in the subject's faces, it's all too much. I can't b go back out now though. If I fail, Zed will likely have me killed. Doubling down is my only res recourse. I'm sorry, Ada. Ada? Oh. Stop! Is that a door or did she just evaporate? What was that sound? Miralda? How the hell could she be down here? Am I losing my mind? Or did she foresee all of this? Because she's a fortune teller. Hey, Miranda. <laughs> Don't move or I'll shoot you, sir. Oh god, it's not a sir. It's a ma'am. Oh, we're actually fighting? Let me use my survival tactic. Let's muster courage first. It increases my attack power. You have no chance against me. Now that I have more courage, it means my bullets shoot stronger now. That's how guns work, obviously. What the hell are you, sir? Here, have a load of this. My gun does way more damage now that I muster all this courage. Have a load of this. Uh, have a load of this. It's taken a shot that would easily kill any human. In fact, I muster all this courage into my gun and it didn't work. How is this possible? No criminal survived my courage gun. <laughs> There's no way I'm dying to a vacuum cleaner or you. So die. It's gonna die eventually. Just keep shooting it, man. Oscar. Death. Plus one death. Oscar was victorious. The mustered up courage gun prevails once again. Haha, <laughs> dead you are. What is this creature? It's humanoid, yet not human. It's a furry. Mi Miralda? Oh, 
Oh god! I didn't foresee that one coming. And a prologue. Oh gosh, dude. Uh, this, video, this video is short, but it's going on YouTube. There's no way it isn't. <laughs> There's no way it isn't. Um, that was interesting. Uh, the game has been out for a little while on Ichio, so I really hope it's still being developed. I would like to see a resolution to this encounter. And without any more stuff in the way, I would also like to thank all my Patreon supporters so much for supporting me my videos. Your support really matters and um, we're really close on crushing a goal as well on Patreon for support. So check that card info out on the top right corner and or a link in the description and maybe join my lovely Patreon supporters that I really appreciate. Thank you guys for supporting on Patreon. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. Leave a like on the video. I'll see you guys in the next time. I'm sorry that there is no... Uh, I'm sorry that videos are a little late. I'm very busy with uh, college stuff and kind of stressed out. So it's nice to kind of record and blow some steam off. This was really fun. I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye bye. Muster up courage to my gun. Didn't foresee that one, huh? <laughs>